that is love and courtesy and kindness uh, during the whole session and uh, and i would like to have uh, i would like all of you to have active participation in table topics or whatever doubts you have you have you can ask at the end of the meeting and uh, as time concerns let us stick to time uh, because time uh, we need to manage the time throughout the session and time is very important so let us stick to the time and follow the timing rules and uh, and switch i would like to tell about uh, mobile switch off your mobiles are kept in silent mode i would like to give you 5 seconds for that and that's about uh, the ground rules and coming to the history of toastmasters toastmasters is founded by ralph c smedley in the year 1924 and this toastmasters is span across 148 countries all around the world and uh, about uh, 3 lakh people toastmasters were uh, registered all around the world and uh, uh, today we don't have any guests and uh, so I would like to hand over the stage to our uh, Toastmaster of the day, Anik Singh, who is an enthusiastic and he started taking up the roles and, uh, and also giving speeches, which is encouraging to us for a person like me who is giving, who is hesitant in giving speeches. So I would like to welcome Toastmaster of the day, Anik Singh, to take up the stage. Thank you. So are you feeling sleepy? No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah job. Okay. So welcome you all in 469th meeting of Terrorist Toastmasters Club. And this is the first meeting of this new term. So yeah, big round of applause for all of you. I think before I go, so the theme of the day is uh, influence, like how the leaders can influence the team to do what they want to do. So I think since we are starting a new term, so that is the theme of the day. So I think I will talk uh, more about the theme when I go into my more main TMO days. But uh, currently, it's a kind of a special session. We also have uh, the officers installation today. So I also would like to uh, you know, inform about uh, uh, like we have area <laughs> director among us, Mr. Postmaster Shello. So we call area director, right? not governor. It used to be governor in the past yeah. area sure. governor sure. Yeah, when I was when I had joined Toastmasters. Uh, okay, so I think uh, uh, now we will start with the installation ceremony. Let me introduce the uh, uh, officer who is going to install the incoming officers. So the area director is uh, the introduction of area director. He is uh, three plus years in IT. I think it has four now maybe. So I'm hearing it for last. Three months. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he also informed uh, us that he's a very good cook. Although I don't know the validity of that claim. So if he's inviting you for maybe dinner, eat at your own risk, maybe. Okay? Uh, apart from that, he's a gold medalist in BTEC and want to explore, learn, embrace the beauty of this diverse world. So please welcome to our area director, Toastmaster Salu. so much Toastmaster Anay. It's an absolute honor for me standing here as an area director of Area G2. And most proud, I'm proud to show this ribbon in front of you. It's given me an immense proud Let me take back, let me tell you one incident which I think you all can relate with. Me. When I joined Toastmasters, first I got the opportunity very first to get on the stage and to deliver my speech. That time, my whole body was shaking. And in terms of Barnali, 99 horses. <laughs> A lot of thoughts going in my mind. When I looked people around, I saw them, they were smiling, they were nodding, and they were applauding. That day, I got to know that Toastmasters is not just a club, it's a community, where we all are together for each other. Today, you all are sitting here. I want to congratulate each one of you that the journey you have embarked on. 
you must be having some why factor why you have joined Toastmasters. Always keep in mind that why factor. Sometimes you will feel that the journey is overwhelming. Sometimes the circumstances will daunt you. But always remember, we all are here. We all are here for each other. Remember, every speech which you will give, every role which you will take, and every feedback which you will receive is the testament of you are growing every day, day by day. What you have to know is, you all are here, maybe some of you want to be a competent leader, some of you want to be a great speaker, maybe some of you have joined just for networking. But always remember, we all are here only to be a better version of ourselves than yesterday. Always keep in mind, as an area director, it is my commitment to help you, to guide you, to always be there for you. So let us all take pride today and stand together to the commitment and towards the betterment of our club, our area, our division, as well as our district. At end, for the upcoming leaders, I want to tell, whenever you feel that this is not your cup of tea or it is very much overwhelming, just remember one quote from John Maxwell that the pessimist always complains about the wind. The optimist expects it to change and the leader adjusts the same. That's all from the area director. Thank you. And now it's time to install our new and uh, our upcoming XCOM. Before that, I would like all the outgoing officers to please stand on their respective seats. Thank you so much, officers, for all your unwavering commitment in the last term. Banali, you are also <laughs> all the associates. Yeah. Thank you for all your commitment, dedication, and hard work and blazing the trail throughout the term. Now, you all are discharged from all further duties and, and responsibility as officers of Oracle Trail Business Toastmasters Club. Can we have a huge round of applause? Now you can take your seat. Thank you. Now I will call all the officers one by one on their name. I request the audience to please applaud till the installation ceremony is concluded. First, I would like to call on stage our Sergeant at Arms, Toastmaster Ravindra. <laughs> Until they are on stage. Second, we have our Treasurer, Toastmaster Joseph. Can we have a huge round of applause? Secretary, Toastmaster Sai Akash. Vice President, Public Relations, Toastmaster Abhipsha. Vice President, Membership, Toastmaster Devi. Vice President, Education, Toastmaster Barnali. Our President, Toastmaster Dinesh. I am here to install all the officers of Oracle Trail Races Toastmasters Club and to prepare them for the challenges that lie ahead. Their collective challenge is to make their club strong and dedicated to helping people from all the walk of life to speak in an effective manner, listen with sensitivity, and passionately lead to help many individuals. Now I will pass this gavel to each one of you. Each officer is obligated to attend club executive meeting and district-sponsored club officers training at his DLI, prepare a successor for his or her respective office. I request each of each officers to please be ready. Toastmaster Ravindra, as a sergeant at arms, your responsibility include arrange the meeting space and equipment, maintain club equipment in working order, set up the virtual room before meeting begins if required, log the meeting room if needed to be once meeting commences, Help the president make sure the meeting begins on time. Make sure all relevant educational and PR materials are displayed. Attend to special equipments needed and greet guests. Toastmaster Ravindra, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, sir. 
Yes, I will perform. Thank you. You can pass the gavel to the next officer. Toastmaster Sai Akash, as a secretary, you maintain an accurate membership roster, work with the treasurer to ensure that new member application and dues get to Toastmasters World Headquarters as soon as possible, work with treasurer to submit your club semi-annual report and dues to Toastmasters International on time, take note of attendance for the meeting, and provide clubs with the meeting uh, minutes of meeting. Toastmaster Sai Akash, will you perform this duty to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Thank you. You can pass the gavel to next officer. Toastmaster Abhipsha, as a VP Public Relations, you are expected to attract visitors to the club throughout through the public free publicity. Use a variety of means to promote club and its member in many medium as possible, such as digital, print, TV, internet, or newspaper. Regularly recognize member achievement with methods such as announcement, newsletter, emails, articles that you submit for the district bulletin. Will you be perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yeah, I perform to the best of your ability. Thank you. You can pass the gavel to the next officer. It is not there. Toastmaster Barnali, as a vice president of education, you are expected to gain commitment from members to set educational goals for themselves. Assure that club members are aware of schedule of meeting goals. Plan meeting that will assist members in meeting their individual goals. Work with club members to keep meeting fun and well run. Work with your members to ensure that they submit their application for educational awards promptly. Provide free educational topics at club meeting. Represent your club at area and district council meeting. At the sec as the second highest officer, preside over the meeting when the club a president is absent. Toastmaster Barnali, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, you can pass the gavel to the next officer. Toastmaster Dinesh, as a president of Oracle Trail Basis Toastmasters Club, you are the chief executive officer. Thus, you preside at all club meetings and meeting of the club executive member. It is your challenge to see that this club adds new member and meet the need of its current member to achieve their com communication and leadership goals. Establish a club climate that is supportive, stimulating, and rewarding to its member. Realize the among the resources available to your commitment is towards fellow club members, officer team, area director, division director, district 92 officer, and officers of Toastmaster International Headquarter. Toastmaster Dinesh, you hold the gavel as a symbol of power and authority that your club has given to you during the, your term of office. I am confident that you will use it wisely and with restraint. You are a member of your team as well as a leader. A team is more than a collection of people. It is an emotional force rooted in the feelings, thought, and action of all the members with the common goals of achievement. Toastmaster Dinesh, as a member of Oracle Trailblazers Toastmasters Club, as well as its leader, will you work with your executive team and club member to make this vibrant and rewarding club this term and help every individual with honesty, loyalty, and empathy? I will. Thank you. Dear members of Oracle Trailblazers Toastmasters Club, please rise on your seat. And if you are on camera, please turn on your video. You, your officer team has just pledged to serve the club to the best of its ability, to be the best Toastmasters Club possible and meet the needs of all its members. Your club will need active participation from each member. Do you, as a member, pledge to work together with your officer's team to make Oracle Trailblazers Toastmasters Club the finest Toastmasters club it can possible? Yes. 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 Thank you. You can now take your seats. By the authority vested in me as an area G2 director of District 92, it's my sincere pleasure to declare these Toastmasters officers installed in the respective club office. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to the club executive team for the term July 2024 to December 2024. Can we have Come in the yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. You can now take your seat. <laughs> I 
I wish all the very best to the newly installed officers. And as I said earlier, as an area director, you can always reach out to me at any point of time, but always make sure that you follow the hierarchy. Whenever you are in need, just first reach out to your mentor. If your mentor is not available, reach out to your president. If your president is not available, reach out to area director, division director, then district director. If you follow the hierarchy, the thing will become easier and you will get a better support. With this, thank you and back to you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Ani. Yeah, so congratulations to all the officers and thank you to the Salu for effectively conducting this session. And I think it looks like there's a lot of responsibility. He has to go to all the clubs and you know, it's a lot of work. So it's not non, not a name just for the name, but a really a lot of work. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, I would like to give a token of appreciation from Trailblazers Club. <laughs> I had forgotten the gift part, you know, but I happened to see there. So, I know. so we will start with the theme of the day. So, what did you think about the theme of the day? What I am going to talk about? Any ideas? The art of persuasion. How to persuade managers for a hundred years? So, like persuasion can be used in all the settings. Okay. So let me start my slide. How to propose somebody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Salut, please pay attention. <laughs> okay, so psychology of persuasion. So I will be talking about from this book only. So if you have read the book already, don't uh, I I'll apologize in advance to making you both with the same stuff. So how many of you have, have read the book? Haven't heard of the book? Heard of it. Okay, so that's great. I think I'm, uh, I've got an audience who hasn't uh, read the book at all. So I think you will like the content. Uh, so I think uh, about the book, I will tell a kind of simple story. In in 95, the author of the book, Robert Sardin, received uh, one mail. And in that uh, mail contained one thank you note from Charlie Munger. So if you know Charlie Munger, he yeah. passed away uh, six months ago, just one month sort of uh, his 100th birthday. So it was an appreciation from him that, hey, you have written such a wonderful book. So this book was written in 1984. So now, now the concept might uh, look like very, you know, everyday affair, but at that time it was really, you know, important concept. And in that uh, envelope, you also got one share of Berkshire Hathaway, one class he shared. At that time, it was 50, it was 50,000, and since then, in 30 years, now the one class A share of books for Hathaway is 600 K dollars. So it is around 5 crore if you convert in rupees. So I mean, that uh, the writer has got this much amount just from one reader. I mean, so that is the power of uh, books, what they can do. Okay, so now I will talk about uh, the uh, psychology of persuasion. So what is uh, persuasion like? Why? Uh, any idea about why do we need to persuade others? Definitely put up a other point to the other person. Okay. And trying to get yes also. Yeah. yeah, so I think trying to get yes. So maybe it is more prevalent among salespeople, the marketers, or the people who are trying to sell you stuff. So they probably read this book much more than we are. We people, we are in IT industry, we don't care, right, who we are selling to. But I think the people who are in marketing, they know a lot more about this kind of stuff. So, okay, so uh, this book talks about the six uh, universal principles of persuasion. I mean, there might be more, but this talks about that these six principles, if you apply, you can persuade somebody. I mean, it's not a kind of you are wrongly doing something. You can apply all the behavioral stuff to say, to get yes from people, okay? So the first is reciprocity. So I think this is, like all these principles are kind of everyday affair. You use them every day, you see around you. But uh, I think uh, you will learn about the science behind those principles. So reciprocity is something like, if you want some somebody to you know, do something for you, you give them first something, right? So they can reciprocate. So it's a kind of reciprocity, I did this for you, and then you are supposed to do this for me. So it's a universal principle, right? 
And the second is liking. So if you are likable, if you make yourself likable, people are going to follow you, right? So like we like to sell you, that's why we kind of... Uh, <laughs> Insta followers. Correct, yeah, here's the followers, Insta followers, right? You are going to extra followers today. Social proof is something we will talk more about. So out of the six principles, we will talk about social proof. So we cannot talk all of the principles today, so we will talk about social proof only. So I will talk more about social proof later. Uh, commitment and consistency is something that we uh, like to be consistent. If let's say I have said that I care about fitness, then I can't eat junk food right after that, right? So everybody wants to be consistent, like what I have said and what I am doing. There should be some kind of consistency in what what is uh, what I am saying and what I am doing. Uh, authority is something that people do something only when they listen from the authority. So you can think like, let's say your manager doesn't know about the technology, then probably you won't, uh, uh, you know, uh, listen much from the manager. So there should be authority figure. Only then people are going to listen to you. So if uh, we are going to, we are listening to people because they are authority in their field, right? So that is one uh, persuasive principle. So, and the last is scarcity, right? We like things which are less available. So if something is very less available, we want that more, right? So that was the, so now I will come to the principle which we are going to talk about today, okay? So just one principle we will talk today, okay. So the social proof tells that when we are uncertain about something, we are likely to follow what what other people are doing, right? So nowadays, now this book was written like 40 years ago, right? right? Now we have social media. Social media is kind of social proof only, right? Uh, if uh, if somebody is not posting anything, you think like they are not happy, right? So for uh, social proof, uh, and then I will go this one. So what, uh, in any example of social proof you see around you, maybe now? Yeah, I think Amazon. Amazon okay. reviews and comments are the biggest social proof for each product. Correct. Decide whether to buy right. a product, whether it's good or not from that. Amazon's choice is also. Yeah, that's true. Right, correct. Yeah, true. I think that is a very good example of social proof. That while you are buying, going to buy something, you see all the reviews. Yeah. And then if all the people are saying, hey, this is good, good, good. And then you, you go buy. and take the product. Yeah. So that is one example of social proof. And, people yeah, 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 that's crowd, yeah. So that uh, nothing attracts the crowd like a crowd. So on, if the crowd is already there in the restaurant, then you think like that restaurant is Rameshram Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the, For some reason in Rameshram Cafe, it happens the opposite way. <laughs> so good. many people like go over <laughs> just to the next one. Okay. Mayur Sagar. Mayur Sagar. Yeah, so I think social proof is there because it, it actually helps you a lot of times, right? It helps you. Uh, sometimes the wisdom of the crowd is better than ours, right? That's why, see, if you see two restaurants uh, side by side and one is crowded, one is not, and definitely you're going to go there. So it, it happens when you are uncertain, you don't know what is good and bad, right? If you know that this is best, even if more people are there, there in the restaurant, you will go here because you, you know this. So, so if you know this stuff, then there's no question. But when you are unsure, you are ambiguous, you don't know, only then you go on the wisdom of the crowd. So we will also talk about why sometimes wisdom of crowd may not be, you know, best idea always. It, uh, it can lead you to a lot of uh, troubles also. If you always believe the wisdom of the crowd, you can believe the wisdom of crowd, but not always, the point that I will say. So okay, we will talk more about uh, this as we move forward, we will go ahead with the a flow of the meeting. So as uh, always, we are going to have three sections of the meeting. First is prepared speech, where we have just one speech today, and then the table topics, and then the evaluation, okay? So before we go there, let me introduce the general evaluator of the day, who will... Uh, president not following. Answer <laughs> <laughs> president. <laughs> Yeah, the general evaluator of the day is Toastmaster Abhinav for today. Uh, he's a very passionate Toastmaster. He's been a Toastmaster since 2016. He likes to stay creative by writing blogs, designing graphics, and crafting speeches. So please welcome Toastmaster Asnav Abhinav. Thank you, Toastmaster Anik. Thank you, everyone, for welcoming me with claps. And that should continue throughout everybody. For the stage, you should get claps. 
Today I take the role of general evaluator and my job is to evaluate the whole meeting from beginning till the end. I'm going to observe everybody who comes on the stage or does some role. Not the audience, I'm not just them, but I expect them to clap whenever somebody comes on the stage. So I can't do this alone. I have a team called e acting Evaluator, Timer, Accountant, Gamerian. So even if I let the Tears Rose Power Day introduce the evaluator, but I'll ask Gremlin first, tell about the role she has. Today's Toastmaster Bangali is playing the role of Gremlin. Can you have her stage, please? Good afternoon, my dear fellow Toastmasters and guests. As a grammarian, it's my duty to listen to each one of you, whoever speaks here. And I would note down any incorrect usage of grammar or English language. And I would also note down if any good usage of uh, words, um, phrases, some um, quotes or sayings have been used. And it's also my duty to introduce the word of the day and the idiom of the day. The word of the day is alluring. A double L U R I N G, alluring, which means attractive. The perfume contains, okay, this perfume contains the alluring scent of jasmine. This is the usage. And the idiom of the day is fly on the wall. F L Y fly on the wall, W A W L, which means an unnoticed observer of a particular situation. So an example would be, I would love to be a fly on the wall when these two get home. Uh, I would encourage each and every speaker, speaker to please use the word of the day and the idiom of the day. And I will note down whoever uses and towards the end of the meeting, I would provide the grammarian report when called on stage. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Banali, for giving the word of the day and the phrase of the day. So I hope everybody uses that. Don't be a fly on the wall. <laughs> Come on the stage when you get a chance. And once you're on the stage, you'll be very alluring. All right. The people are today on the, on the wall, caution and they think were not well, but they still joined their meeting. So getting a lot of the so then. Oh, uh, anyways, so going on, we have one more role called R counter, and that helps you to overcome your stuttering, stuttering or long pauses when you speak, uh, um, and all. So please welcome today's R counter to Master Nayan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My role as the art counter is to count the number of unnecessary sounds or repetitive words that you use when you are speaking in the stage. We call them as fillers, and fillers effectively hamper the flow, the effectiveness of your speech. For example, uh, um, you know, I mean, will be monitored. These touch words you will have to be controlled. At the end of the meeting, I will present my report to you. In addition, I will also be the heart counter, wherein I will be noting down the number of times you try to infuse laughter during a course of a delivery. So I'm going to be the R counter and also the R counter. I'll get back to my report at the end of the session. Back to you, General Okay, we have one more role called timer. It's a critical role because we want to start on time and end on time. To help with that, we have Toshman Dakshayani, who's going to be timer for today. Thank you, General Evaluator. Uh, so, yeah, I... After being a fly on the wall for some time, it's good to be back taking the roles again. So today I'll be the uh, timer. One of the most important components in a speech is something called brevity, if you guys have heard of it before. So it's about using words in the most accurate and concise way possible. That is one thing that can help us keep our speeches within a time frame. And like with many things in Toastmasters, I will gently but also very clearly point out every time that someone is uh, going beyond the time and especially today we have one prepared speech uh, and in this prepared speech at five minutes i'll be showing the green card and at uh, six yeah at six minutes i'll be showing the yellow card and at the seven uh, minute mark i'm going to be showing the red card 
Uh, so please watch out whoever's on stage. And I'll be doing the same thing for uh, table topics as well. At one minute, I'll be showing the uh, green card. And at one and a half minute, I'll be showing the yellow card. And at two minutes, I'll be showing the red card. Uh, so yeah, that's that's my rule for today. And uh, I'll be doing the same thing online also. If anyone is speaking online, I'll be changing my backgrounds according to the same color scheme. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mr. Vichayani. So please, whatever timings here, at least speak till green comes up, whoever is on the stage. And uh, that's all. That's all I had. We'll have a great meeting today. I hope all the speakers and the volunteers on Table Topics enjoy a lot. So with that, I hand over the stage back to Dr. Mr. Anik. Okay, so we will go ahead with the first speech. Uh, so the evaluator for first speech is Arun Toshmaster Narayan. If you can tell the objectives of the speech. Thank you, uh, Toshmaster Narayan. Today, my target speech today, Mamta Agarwal, is attempting the introduction to vocal variety and body language objective. The purpose of this particular project is for the member to practice using vocal variety or body language. Let me repeat it as vocal variety or body language to enhance a speech. All the best, Mamta. Let me go to you. Uh, let me introduce the speaker of the day, Mamta is a Q engineer with Oracle Fusion GRC product. She loves being around people, talking to them, sharing their experiences and ideas. She loves listening to all types of music, more interest for old Bollywood songs. So the speech title is uh, Mamta Agrawal, Lost and Found. Lost and Found, Mamta Agrawal. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, uh, so before starting my speech, I would like to ask a question. Anyone been lost any time, like, Small and childhood, or when become elder, same thing happened to me recently. Six months back only, it's not six months. February, I went to Orissa to attend my nephew's marriage. So, after attending the marriage, we went to Puri Jagannath Temple. So, whole day we roamed like a city, we went to Konar. So, after coming to Puri Jagannath Temple, we reached temple around nine o'clock in the night. So, we had Darsana and Darsana Prabhu. Jagannath, Banabhadra and Shubhadra. Then after that, we went for Prashad. We had Mahaprasad. And you, if you know that Mahaprasad Puri, Mahaprasad Adna, Dal, Sabji, everything we had. After that Prashad, we went again to have Darsana of other devotees. That, that, that day, some special day was there. So temple was open for the whole night. So after Darshan, uh, we went to uh, Lakshmi temple, some other, uh, other devotees. My husband and he was like, uh, he was taking care of my both kids. So both the kids, uh, one kid in the right hand, other kid in the left hand. And I was just following them. So he, he did not tell me and he just again entered inside Mahadanda. Mahadanda means Prabhu Jagannath temple. And I was just seeing here and there, their food was there. Like Puri uh, Mahaprasad, it is called Khaja. And other Prasad was there, it was so ironic. I was just seeing that one. <laughs> then after that, after seeing, I was just seeing that one and he did not notice, he thought, he thought I'm just following him and he went inside the temple again. And then after seeing that Prasad, I was just seeing where he, where he is there. I was roaming here and there and again I went to that uh, Devimas temple. I thought he might have gone there. But it did not stuck to my mind that he might have gone again for Darsana. So I was roaming here and there, I was little... I was not that worried, but I was worried that they will be worried, uh, like they will be thinking, like where I am. I am such a big fat lady who where I am. <laughs> <laughs> then I was searching here and there. I did not find them. It was like 15 minutes. I was inside the temple. Then I came out of the temple. Not there are a lot of stairs are there. I just got down from each stairs. Slowly, slowly, I was getting down from the stairs and I was hoping that I will see them. Here or there or somewhere. So after getting down all these steps, I could not see them. And after that, I came out of the tent. I should, I that time also it did not stuck to my mind. I should have waited here. At least they will come out from the temple and they will wait, they will search me here. I waited there just five, ten minutes, then again I completely came out of the temple. And in Puri, there will be hand rickshaws. Like there will be no autos, it will be so far. Near the temple, I just took on that time it was 11.30. Like it all happened 
it was night. Mandir was crowded, but our side it was like not that much crowd. I was a little scared. Like it was 11.30, I was a little worried also. Then I took that hand rickshaw, I was a little drunk. I could find out <laughs> that person that they can give me a little worry. Like, sir, like it is 11.30 night and I am alone. And uh, if, if it, were, it was not night time, I would not have that much worried. Then I somehow, I, I cannot think that more and I told just you take me till that, I mean, temple, there will be mobile not allowed, nothing been allowed. So I tell him, just take me to the shop where mobile and slippers will keep. So he told there will be many shops. I tell I go, I did not remember which shop I should go. So we, we went, I, he took me to three shops there. So I'll ask, I asked him, please show me. I did not have that sleep also. That sleep was with my husband. I asked like, uh, uh, like my uh, any any person came with two kids. I told so many people come. How I know that I was not knowing what should I say and what should I ask. I was like completely in tension. So he was then I requested him a lot. Please show me. At that time the shop was almost empty. Only four five uh, pieces of slippers and then please uh, allow me to see if it is. I will recognize if it is my husband's or kids. He was not happy. After ten minutes request, he agreed. He allowed me inside his shop. And I saw each rack, and it was not there. By that time, he would have come or taken. Then I went to another shop. There also same thing happened. By that time, half an hour passed. It was night, 12 o'clock. Then all the tea shops, I did not find the slippers and mobile phones. And then it was like I was, I came again in the rickshaw. Then I thought I will go to that driver, to the driver which, who, who, bought, who brought us to, to the temple. I went till there. They are also like, you will not remember where exactly he parked the car. And I just remember one shop that I was trying to find and I found that shop, but I did not find the car. Then I was looking here and there. Then again, again, I came back till temple. I asked that extra person, again, I came back. And I was, when I came back, then I asked him to take to information center. When I went to information center, that was also closed. Then what happened? Again, I came back to that. I asked that. It was like three, four hours happened. I asked him to go again to that uh, place where the car was parked. And I was roaming here and there, and suddenly the driver has seen me. And it was like, <laughs> I was so relaxed. I got so relaxed. I found him. Then by that time, my husband has called the driver that if I will go there. Then he asked me to be there, and then my husband came and he started shouting at me. <laughs> <laughs> How come you're so irresponsible? I told you, you are taking care of two person. You should have seen me also that I am following you and you will How I will know that you will go inside the temple I, again? Then uh, he did not get that much angry on me. Then we came. So from this, we learned a lesson like. You all will be knowing that it will not happen, but still when we go to such, such a crowded place, we should first ask like if something will happen, we'll meet in a common place. And specifically for kids, we'll instruct them more. If elders miss, it is night, that's why I was afraid. If it will be not night, I could have come by taxi or something. But night means I thought if I'll not find them, I'll go inside the temple and stay back. So that was the thing I decided because I cannot go at night and travel. So first thing we should be Taking care of all these things when you go to crowded place, you know, like if this is a common place, we should meet, we should not get panic if something will happen. Then second place, we should we should be taking care of each and everyone. We should not think that if the elder is there, we, if they will be responsible. When we are going, we should be little place should be little slow and we should follow its instruction. So it will not happen. And third thing, we should not get angry if something has happened. <laughs> we should be powerful because it this is a mistake, it can happen to anyone, and we should learn from it. So this is what, and this is this is the lesson we take in our life also. Like sometimes mistakes also happen. We should not get panic, and we should go further and take proper actions, and we should not be worried. Something better will happen, and we keep moving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Samantha. Congratulations for completing your third speech. And that was a very entertaining speech for me. But I think if it happened to me and my wife, she will scold me much more. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Dr. So let's move to the team again.
Okay. So I already know what social proof that we do what other people are doing. Okay. So this is proved by one kind of experiment also. It's a kind of controlled experiment. So I think all these uh, kind of whatever principle you see in psychology, they are not the kind of hard principle that they work always. They might work in one situation, may not work in another situation. And uh, no, no, nobody can prove, right? They can just perform some experiment on some new people and then come out with a theory. So although they, those those things looks like very simple, they are, I mean, I already know this. So, uh, but uh, I mean, if you are telling this to somebody that hey, that, that's how it works, they will say, I already know this, right? So all the psychology principles are like that only. You already know all of them. You follow all of them, but maybe you may not have found the science behind them, right? Okay, so this actually experiment is uh, something that uh, uh, one person was, uh, I mean, what they did that they placed one person in a room by giving him some tasks, let's say one puzzle to solve, and then they gradually put the smoke in that room. So, I mean, in that uh, situation, 75% of the people complained about the smoke. There is, there is smoke here. But in the second situation, what happened? They put two actors who are not going to report about the smoke. And then they see how this person is going to react. I mean, it's not the same person, a new, new person always, right? That's how experiments work. So in that situation, only 10% of the time, person reported. That means, because we are seeing that they, these two are not reporting, I'm also not reporting. So I think we, uh, we believe so others up to that extent. Uh, I mean, if I'm alone, I'm reporting 75% of the time. But if two people or actors are not reporting, then I'm not doing that. So that is the uh, experiment of social proof. And, uh, and social proof, I think uh, the marketers use it a lot. So in terms of, you might, uh, I mean, all the friends, friend, right? They put that, uh, they, it's called like the canned laughter. So, you know, they, they put some fake laughter, right? So in a lot of shows, it comes, uh, so I mean, uh, uh, so I tell it, uh, you kind of, uh, by seeing the laughter, you believe that yeah, this is kind of good content, right? Also, that may not be a good content. And actually, most of the times, that is needed for the bad content, most of the time, right? If it's a good content, you don't need anything. People are going to laugh anyway. But most of the times, they put the laughter for the content, which is not very, you know, good. And sometimes, also, we also follow this, you know, sometimes we see the videos who are most liked. Like if some video has a million, a kind of billion views, then I'm going to see it uh, more than the other video has just, you know, 100 views. So like that's how we follow. And uh, the next is how we can kind of use the social proof for our, our, our advantage, okay? So I think few things can be done. Uh, so let's say if somebody is afraid of dogs, I mean, it happens with few kids. So if, if the kid who's afraid of dogs, if they see the videos where, you know, other children are playing with dogs, right? So after, I think, uh, maybe 10, 20 days, they will become more comfortable with the dogs. And actually, social proof works when more people are doing this. Only when one is doing, you may not be convinced. But when you show the uh, uh, video to the child, a lot of other kids are playing with, uh, you know, dogs, and he will be more convinced, and then he's... Uh, you know, more likely to follow or uh, to play with the dogs. And that can be applied in any uh, category, okay? You can persuade your children by following this uh, principle. Uh, the, the second one is, uh, like, if you go on a walk, right? Let's say you go on a morning walk. If a lot of other people are walking, then you, it's more likely that you are going to be a, a regular walker. And if you go to a place where nobody is walking, then I think you are going to give up that, that activity. So that is also kind of psychologically social proof is working in there in the gym or in the you know yoga class or whatever. I mean, if a lot of other people are doing that activity, you feel more comfortable. You feel more or like you feel yeah, this is activity worth doing, and you are more uh, likely to follow that activity. Okay. So we will talk uh, the the negative side and uh, other things also in the next uh, session. But uh, now we will go ahead with the table topic session. So the table topic master for today is Toastmaster Krishna. So I think mean, here it was written, uh, Krishna joined two months ago, but I think it means uh, it has eight months at least. So you joined eight months ago? Three months. Three months ago. Oh, that's cool. I think my month calculation is going <laughs> off. <laughs> so uh, Krishna loved to travel a lot. He reads the books. 
and believe in growth mindset and uh, always try to do new things. Please welcome to Krishna. Thank you. Thank you. Continuing with our tradition of having unbiased and simple table topics, today we are going to have table topics in a slightly different manner. Anyone heard about the word Kesha Pusha? What? Kesha Pusha. Kesha. Kesha means yeah. uh, It's a Japanese word. Oh. Japanese word for chat. Oh. It's also a very famous way of delivering alluring presentations. So let me give an example how it works. So there will be five slides, and each slide will be shown for 20 seconds. And after 20 seconds, automatically the slides move to the next slide. So the speaker should start creating a story from the first slide, and the storyline should continue till the end of the slide. OK, any any questions? Any? So let me show you a demo so that maybe yeah. Yeah. If that works. So I want the speakers to speak on this side, because uh, I want the slides also to be shown. Let me. Yeah. You put the camera to this side. I'll show the camera this camera. Let's keep the camera on and this side to show that. So I'm not going to do continuous five slide just in interest of slide, but let's say this is the slide which I have to speak about. So I can create a story like this. Okay. So one day uh, morning I woke up suddenly and it was already late for my office and I want to you know, go to office. I'm waiting late for a meeting. So I opened my app and tried to you know, book an Uber cab. So I booked an Uber cab, but after five minutes, the driver called me and said, sir, my cab is damaged. I cannot come. So now I have to you know, find an alternative way. Like I need to take a public transport and go to the office. Right? So finally, uh, even with the uh, all the mismatch, I was able to find a public transport and able to you know, reach office safely. So that's the end. So I'm just doing it with five, two slides. But normally in the table topic, you'll have five slides. So anyway, I'll show you uh, all the five different topics. So I tried my best to obfuscate it. But if you can guess what the image is, you can go ahead. So let me. It should be on this part. The second slide also. Yes. After this second slide also, and then they will five slides. Five slides. This is sample. This is a demo. How to? There are random images, right? So you need to create one story. Like let's say I create an office story. So you need to create one story till end of the slide. So one person five slides. One person five slides. Twenty seconds. So five slides. One minute forty seconds. One minute forty seconds. Someone has. So you're not telling the topic before, right? No, no, no. Uh, so I'll show you. I'll show you the. Let me show you. Let me show you. No, no, it's fixed. Speak in two minutes. Speak in two minutes. I'll be still one point. So, I, yeah, these are the five different things. I mean, if someone can get, I want to go ahead. Like oh, this is, you can choose anything. Okay. Choose. You can choose. No, no, these are not five slides. This is just a starting slide. Initial slide. Select which option. Which, which option you want to speak? Three. Three. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Teja Nalani. Uh, I'm explosive. Yes, you can see the human yeah. yeah, I'm uh, uh, recently uh, Oracle has uh, uh, my manager at least like has approved me uh, to procure uh, <laughs> to procure headset uh, from the procurement, and I'm happy that like of course uh, from my uh, uh, from my take home it's difficult to purchase that much. <laughs> 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 Thanks to OC uh, uh, for providing this, uh, uh, for, for, for providing us that much costly. Uh, yeah, only the amount that uh, uh, costed me for the 
uh, headset that I'm using for EMI of my bike. <laughs> Making me uh, and uh, making me, uh, yeah, with that bike, like I'm traveling. Uh, uh, nowadays, it's like a, uh, it is helping me to reach on time, of course, like because uh, through car, like through, through four wheeler, it is difficult uh, to travel uh, to office uh, to, uh, in this like, busy Bengaluru traffic. So, the bike that I procured, uh, that I got, <laughs> is helping me to reach. Uh, office uh, in less time but the way on the way to the i stay in sarjapur so it's like a abandoned kind of place where i find you know uh, like a, when i whenever i go on my bike uh, during the evening times i used to get attacked by these uh, street dogs <laughs> anyways Who wants to tell me? I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm selling this one. Okay, so one day I thought of going to the passport office and get my passport. I never had been out of India. So I thought, let me at least get ready for that, if at all, <laughs> the company sponsors. Um, so I, on the way, I found a cool um, sunglass. And I thought, wow. Uh, the moment I wore it, I was time traveled. I went to a castle. Oh, my God. <laughs> and actually, it doesn't seem to be an Indian castle. I mean, Home. doesn't it look like somewhere abroad so actually that sunglass helped me I did not even need the passport and I reached there from there I started calling I tried to reach out um, you know um, my husband because I didn't know where I was <laughs> so but uh, you know I, I couldn't see anything I mean there was no display on the mobile so Suddenly, I got allured by this beautiful paint, uh, whatever you call it, Bandit and I paint. took the yeah, I took the brush and started painting that house. I got a ladder and started painting all over uh, the outer side of the house, um, and uh, oh yes, that's me. So I I really um, got this message on my mobile display, be you, yes. And that's me doing crazy stuff. Is there anything else coming up? <laughs> so someone choose the number for me because I'm very lucky. One. One. <laughs> So, uh, I, I'm from Bilaspur, Chhattisgarh, and uh, there you don't get to see the planes like this. So, first time when I went to Jabalpur, I was walking with my friend Priyanka. I'm like, Priyanka, the plane ja hai. She's like, please, <laughs> don't behave like a middle class. So, it's very common over here. So, that was my first experience to see the aeroplane. And uh, uh, debit card, I think I first got it, and I was like, uh, what on what I should spend uh, I had this experience of seeing the plane, but never sitting on it. So once I got the debit card from my first uh, first job, I thought I'm going to use this to travel in plane to go to my hometown. And um, my favorite fruit is apple. And in the plane, they served fruit. <laughs> they served the cut fruits as the complimentary, and I enjoyed it while traveling to my hometown. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> Next image takes time, is it? Okay. Exactly. And along with apple, they also gave fruit juice, curd rice, and uh, and uh, there was one guy who was having a smartphone. That time I had my brother's thrown away Nokia 980 something smartphone. And uh, I didn't know that uh, in the phone also you can have some camera lens kind of a thing. Uh, so one guy was doing that and other guy was having a very interesting camera. Then I realized that the time I have booked, it is actually a Christmas time. And instead of going to hometown, I could have gone to Goa. So, yeah. That's still in this Yeah, so that is, that is it. Yeah, thank you.
So I got uh, very irritated with Chrome, you know, as they say that uh, they steal your data and everything and Firefox is much better. So I finally installed Firefox on my laptop and uh, saw the UI was really nice and uh, <laughs> and yeah, uh, they had given free VPN as a gift <laughs> to use for some days. So I uh, used that VPN. Uh, while using my Netflix so that I can watch all the band shows, uh, in the shows that are banned in India. And really nice experience. I did all these while baking some cookies for myself. I ate those cookies and completed all the shows and I realized that I didn't do any work for the office that day. Oh my God. <laughs> So, uh, because I gained a lot of calories, I realized at the end of the day by eating cookies and acting like a couch potato, I finally picked up my dumbbells to do some exercise and get ready for work. <laughs> After I completed my office work, I celebrated by cracking <laughs> That's it. Thank <laughs> uh, so when I was in school, uh, my dad refused to teach me cycle for some reason, maybe because I'll run away. Uh, so I decided to teach myself cycle. And I was just riding along the roads around my house, falling, getting up, falling, like the same, uh, the same thing for the same cycle for multiple uh, things. And that's when I realized I should never be sp playing sports. And maybe my dad was right. And uh, like the number of times I keep falling down, the number of times I injured myself when I was in school was insane. So that's when I realized maybe instead of playing sports like that, I should try to play sports like foosball. Uh, but sometimes that's <laughs> probably not a great idea because uh, you know like cycles are big and you can like fall down and stuff and you think I'll be good at foosball because it's a really straightforward game but no I was not like even though it was like uh, pretty straightforward you have to just move some sticks apparently that's that's not how it works so I thought okay maybe uh, foosball is not for me either maybe I'll pick up some music and I went and I started learning music and surprisingly that didn't go that as badly as I thought it would uh, after the track record that I just showed every one of you. <laughs> and uh, then, then after that, I don't know what this picture is. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this picture is, but after everything that happened, maybe it's a good idea to celebrate with some food. And, uh, salad is probably not my thing. Like, I will never eat a salad. If you catch me eating a salad, please, like, you know, I assume Stop. something's wrong with me. <laughs> Thank you. I think I'm done with all the topics. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you. Wow, that was very interesting. I think he made so many slides. I had to make four slides, it took me like one full day, you know. <laughs> because it is because, uh, you know, Jeff Bezos banned slides in Amazon. So for eight years, I never made a slide. But here, for everything, there is a slide. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let me share again. Welcome, Carl. Okay, so when we should not believe in the wisdom of the crowd? Any example you you might think of like when Again, you should not uh, go with the crowd? Review. With Amazon review? 
But most of the yeah, because those can be fake. Now, now the point is now, if you believe that everybody is right, then people using it uh, like a fake reviews for a fake crowd or uh, in front of a restaurant. One right? example for a fake laughter or the fake views. Right? That's why all these fake things have come up. Fake views, fake laughter, fake crowd, fake <laughs> reviews on the Amazon side. So all those are consequences of because we used to believe in the wisdom of the crowd. That's why. We should always not believe in the wisdom of the crowd. So, I mean, there are a few situations I will tell you. I mean, uh, so in, in terms of uh, emergency, the wisdom of the crowd may not be you know, very, uh, you cannot uh, believe in the wisdom of the crowd in terms of emergency. So, I think in, in this book, what authors talks about, uh, he actually talks about uh, uh, something happened, uh, one actually uh, murder happened. Uh, on a street, and then the people kept looking from their second story, third story, and that was happening for let's say for 20 30 minutes. So, in that time, anybody could have called, right? Call the police or do something, but since nobody was doing anything, and then so nobody did anything, right? So, because you looked at others, okay? So, if I'm sudden, I looked at others, if they are not doing anything, so I also did not do anything. So, in terms of emergency, people are, uh, I mean, uh, since uh, nobody is doing that. Uh, and that's uh, that's uh, a disadvantage for the victim. Uh, so in in, in uh, kind of this group setting, uh, you can believe. Uh, uh, I mean, the lone bystander can help you much more than, than a crowd. So let's say if, uh, if I find uh, you or anybody find yourself in a situation, let's say, and then you there are a lot of other people are there. So if you tell somebody that hey, you in red T-shirt. Can you please help me? I'm getting, let's say, heart attack. Then there's a more probability that person will help. If there might be hundreds of other people, nobody will come since nobody is coming. So you should be specific while you are expecting something from the crowd. Be specific from whom you want something. So if you are looking for help, be specific. Uh, so that that can help. I mean, uh, people may not be un unkind, but they might be unsure because they don't know whether you are faking it or it is a real emergency scenario. So you need to make sure that you need to tell that person, hey, this is an emergency, and I am looking help from you, that particular person. And then um, uh, maybe 90 or 100% of the time you are going to get help in those kind of scenarios. So, okay, social proof, I think that's all I had on this uh, topic. And, and anything anybody want to add on terms of uh, social proof or the wisdom of the crowd or yeah. any experience you want to add? The Hatras. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, right. That is again, yeah, right. uh, everybody is following the crowd, yeah. and that is where the stampede happened. I think caution is also mentioned. Mm -hmm. Bandwagon effect. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so we talked about one principle today. Maybe in other meetings, we will talk more, but they are out of six uh, global principles or the, uh, or we can say, universal principle of influence. Okay, so that's all from my side. Now we will go ahead with uh, the evaluation session. So I will call Mr. Tosma Sarabino for conducting the evaluation. Stop sharing. All right, I think we all had a great session today. So my evaluation will also be great, hopefully. Uh, at the, in the beginning of the meeting, it's Sunday at 3 o'clock, excellent time, which is really good. And I say today, Sarindam's Ravindram as his first Sarindam address did really good. He talked about the history of Toastmasters. He said the rules of the ground rules of the meeting. And he also did his Toastmaster Day pretty well. So, can you have a round of applause for Toastmaster Ravindram? The only thing he can improve upon on this first meeting is to be more energetic. Because the first person is the one who starts the meeting. So, we have to be more energetic and more lively. Then it came on the stage, so Master Anek, because today we had a little different setting, otherwise the setting of should have come, but Master Anek came. And it always shows that he kept, uh, he had prepared really, really well for the meeting. Not only he had PPT, but he actually he knew about the subject he's talking about. So you can have PPT or not have PPT, but knowing about subject pretty well helps you deliver it also really good. And the, you told about six principles of uh, influence, which are really good. I noted down as curiosity. Liking, social proof, commitment, authority, and scarcity. Obviously, six are too, too, uh, too much to speak on. One topic you chose, social proof, which is really, really good. 
a few things I liked about your uh, overall role was that you kept the mood little light. Everybody laughed about it, and there was some serious things also. But again, you kept the mood light, so you could understand it really well. Um, you were very very interactive. As a tourist person today, the one of the best uh, traits you have is to be interactive. Ask audience question, give them suggestions, ask them again. So everybody was involved. Again, that great job on that. One thing you can improve upon is the eye contact. You're looking at only one side. If you had more people here, you looked at the other side also, but give equal participants to all, not just one side. And one more thing to uh, change is that the title of the speech should not repeat like contest every time. Just the speaker name and title is enough. You should not say speaker, title, title, speaker. It's, that's not the format. If you start in the outside or those master, will laugh. That's one thing to actually learn about it. We should not do those master thing everywhere. But overall, great session to Spasar and Aik. It's for the first into Trailblazers. And I hope to see more and more of you because I think you have great content, you have great body language, and you make the audience interact with you more and more. So a lot of applause for those Spasar and Aik. I made the prepared speeches, so I'll ask the director first to come on the stage. So Spasar and Aik, can you please uh, make the evolution for, do the evolution for Spasar and Thank you, Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Mamta. I'm a tag figure today. So we all know Mamta, uh, the way she has blossomed over these few months as a trailblazer. So I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say she is usually a very, a very gentle, soft-spoken, a very timid spoken. And we, all of us have played a great role in pushing her to break the shell. She had broken it once during icebreaker. What she has done today is something that I will try to express in my own words in the next couple of minutes. Did you all see the presentation ceremony in the recently concluded uh, T20 World Championship? I'm sure all are seen. So Jaisha, the official hands over the trophy to the Sharma, and then and the cameras go around him. And then Rohit and uh, Virat Kohli hand over the trophy to the head yeah. coach, Rahul Dravid. So we all know kind of personality Rahul Dravid is. There was an ad from Cred where he said, Indira Nagar ka gunda hume. <laughs> we were surprised to see the reaction. He said Rahul Dravid. And this time, when he probably, I think he got into experience in sitting over the camera all these years, the moment he gets the championship, uh, he said that he was not the retribution for his 1992 failure in Barbados, same pitch. But this time, the moment he gets the hand on his trophy, he must have seen the reaction. He was like, why did you know, jumping up and down? <laughs> it was not, I wouldn't compare that with Mamta, but today she has broken a big chunk of barrier today. And the way I saw her gracefully moving up, talking about how she walked into the temple and where she was standing, the expression went her up, which order at the excellent first step. Go. So, the area is where I really enjoyed. Then, um, the best way to start off when you are not sure, um, I am not a very comfortable person to express my body language. I usually don't do that, it doesn't happen to me. But then, the only thing I, I kind of learned all these years is that uh, you have to be comfortable, and that happens only when you throw questions. You did that very well when we are asking people that have you ever experienced being lost and then found? Point to improve there is you quickly went to the next line. Missing pauses. When you ask a question, wait for the pause. People will react to you saying that no or yes. That few seconds will probably give you a factor to comfort yourself in front of the stage. It will be address nervousness. By the way, dynamic usage of the word of the day. Uh, quickly you adapted the word of the day into your speech. I, I'm sure the camera didn't note it down. Job very well done there. When the driver saw you, and when the husband showed them with you, the expression that you showed, I really enjoyed it. It could have been a little more sustaining, but this is a great start. You can do that. Never ever think that you cannot. You have started, you can do that. Excellent takeaway. One more secret to you, all of you close ears. This, if you can modify this, this could be a good contest speech when you finish your level two. Now, areas of improvement, the opening was probably a bit more rushed. You rushed to the opening and jumped into the body very immediately. If you could have talked a little more about the experience in walking through the temple, the crowd, and what made you to forget that to you know uh, deviate from your husband and kids, the story could have been a little more lean. So what out there? Uh, you had a lot of other chances where you could have talked about a little more vocal variety, conversation with the shop owner, the reaction with your husband after he shouted at you could have given much more space. To enact and show a vocal variety, you could have had one vocal variety for you and one for your husband or shopkeeper. So there were chances available. Um, very ideologic speech and uh, pauses likely to be the fly on the wall. 
Like how did emotional takeaways? Excellent job. Looking forward to hearing from you. Job very well done. Back to you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Master. And I for almost covering everything regarding evaluation. I don't really have anything else to say except that since it was a real story, I hope it's a real story. <laughs> so all the expression of face was showing that it was, it was real. Uh, the only thing I can tell you to improve on is eye contact. You're looking only at one side, an egg, for some reason. <laughs> but others are also there, look at them also. We want to look at their eyes when you speak. Just improve on that, otherwise, great. You summarize pretty well as well your overall takeaway. Again, job very well done. Can you round out those mom up? Moving on, we have one of the most fun sessions today we had in table topics. Like we want to have more and more of that. It ended so quickly. We wanted to have more slides <laughs> like that. We also learned a word today, Kesha Pusha, the Japanese word. Kaizen, Kanban. We have one more word to learn about now. So many words are Kibana, whatever. Aikigai. So many things are there. So one uh, great part about it, you prepared really well. And it's a new thing. We have seen in Toastmasters this kind of thing earlier. It was called a contest called Glitterati. There's two people had to speak on for uh, five minutes, 20 seconds, 20 slides, or five, whatever, five seconds, 20 slides. So that was really good. That ended though, but today you really did it again and it made it individual. That's really good, man. I mean, it's really interesting. And the best part about it was that everybody wants to speak on that. Everybody said, yes, I want to go for it. <laughs> so again, great setup to it. The way you owned it was really, really good. Uh, one thing to improve on is that since you are the host of the meeting, you are the person who is driving everything, don't let people speak over you. Okay. So when you say this is the rule, don't, we can answer the questions to other people which are, but not, not, I mean, people are speaking over, over you. Don't let that happen. Get the control of the meeting. It will help you in team more role of other roles in future. Otherwise, because we are friendly crowds, so we can do that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but if more people speak on you, then you will not be able to hurt, not, you will not be hurt then. But I great table topics. Everybody will speak on it pretty well. For two minutes, people will speak on it. And great job done on the preparation as well. Not to I'm not comment on how the introduction happened because that's all the pro, uh, protocol anyways. So overall, I thought it was a great session. A lot of chances got people got to speak upon. Great topics. Uh, influence is a great topic anyways. Can, it can be limited more and more and more. Because we all eventually want to influence others. We are learning that through those masters. So great topics, great collaboration, everybody. And I don't really have anything else. I hope the ballots are being done somehow. If it's not being done, I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> but from next meeting onwards, someone should own that ballot part. With that being said, I, I hand the switch back to those master Anik. Thank you for the report. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Uh, so I have that. Tag team report, uh, uh, timer, account of Gremlin. I'll start with timer first. So, Master Akshay. Thank you, Tanjit Evaluator. Uh, so, I won't need this. Uh, yeah, so uh, everyone has been pretty good with time uh, today. And like for the uh, prepared speech, Mamta took uh, 7 minutes 33 seconds. And uh, Toastmaster Narayanan took uh, around 3 minutes 33 seconds around for the evaluation. And uh, table topics have uh, seen that on an average it was one and a half minutes as Toastmaster uh, prepared. So it was like great. So like everything was almost the same. So yeah, that's my report. Thank you. As for the awards, one more iteration is that we should speak at least till green comes up and don't overstep after the red has come up. So I think today everybody holds to uh, host up the timings, but control on that. Uh, next we have our counter, Dr. Nayan, the report, please. Uh, thank you, Dr. Evel Evaluator. It was a light job for me as our counter. Uh, I want to especially congratulate Ravindra, Mamta, Krishna, Banmali, and Dakshani for almost having less than three clutch words. So, a lot of applause for all these people. Uh, by and large, it's not exceeded the average level, so we yeah, are doing really good. Take a pause, take a breath when you think that you have a disconnect with the next word you're going to say. Usually, we end up with crutch words, 
when we get stuck with the previous word and we do not know what to do with the next word, that's the time when we say, ah, oh, no, that's it. So, take a break and connect your words. So, I had fun and uh, PMOD Anik, Mamta, excellent job, Mamta, by the way. Uh, the first guest who did a table topic, Barnadi, Devi, Abhipsa, Daksha, everybody had a pair had a contributed laughter also. So, good job there. Back to you, Z. Stop, pause, speak fast. Your ass will not be heard. <laughs> okay, and last we had Gravedi, the first one. So, yes, it was an enduring meeting, and I think nobody was a fly on the wall here. That's great. Um, everyone used, almost everyone used um, the word and the idiom of the day. I loved seeing that. I think Toastmaster Abhinav, Toastmaster Dakshayani, Toastmaster Kaushal on uh, chat, uh, Toastmaster Mamta, Mamta beautifully implemented, I was really impressed. Um, Toastmaster Krishna, I used it, and Toastmaster Narayanan. And if I have missed any, please forgive me for doing that. Um, uh, okay, incorrect usages. There are a few I would like to mention. Like, I went Orissa is wrong. You should say I went to Orissa. Uh, it did not stuck my mind. Uh, you should say it did not strike into my mind. I would not have much worried. I would not have that much worried. So I would not have been that much worried. Um, sorry for being so critical because I am a writer, so <laughs> that's a part of my job. So, okay, and great usages like Dakshani used um, brevity, uh, Anek used bystander, which is a psychological concept, uh, Toastmaster Krishna used Kesha Pushawa. That's it. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Great job. That's the end of the evaluation. I hope you all had fun. Back to the question, Anik. Yeah, thank you, General Evaluator Avinav, for giving such encouraging feedback to everybody. Okay, so now is the time to install one member who did not turn up on time. <laughs> I invite Kosmala Sailor to install Kosmala Devi. Hello everyone. It's very important for all the new officers before joining their office to know what are their roles, what are the roles they are going to perform. So as our vice president of membership missed that, I would like to call on stage our vice president of membership, Toastmaster Devi, on stage. Toastmaster Devi, each officer is, is obligated to attend club executive committee meetings and district sponsored club officers training, that is TLI and prepare a successor for his or her respective office. Now, as a VP membership, you are expected to lead the club's membership building efforts, help member with any requirement during their journey, listen to their grievances, and promote emotional support if needed. While the VPPR motivates people to visit your club, you motivates the current members to invite guests. Promptly give a new member application and dues to the secretary and treasurer, Personally greet guests and provide them with guests, guest packet, including a membership application. Make sure that each guest hears about Toastmasters benefit and gets a personal invitation to become a member. Will you perform this duty to the best of your ability? Yes. Thank you. Please this gavel. By the authority vested in me as an area G2 director of District 92, it's my sincere pleasure to declare Toastmaster Devi as an officer of <coughs> Vice President of Membership Office. Thank please you, please. Now I request every officer to please join me again for a group photograph. Okay. All the officers. Yes, I'll take one more. One more? Yes. It's all seven. Put it in years later. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah. Enough. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now I would hand over the stage to our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Ane. Thank you. Now all the people have taken oath of the office. So, uh, yeah. And now is the time to call whom? Yeah. The boss. <laughs> Shivaji the boss. <laughs> so we have done the voting. Uh, that uh, you are? Uh, at, the at, okay. at the end. Yeah. Okay, so now I would like to call the president of the club, Toastmaster Dinesh. He is software developer for Oracle Retail. Application has been in IT for four plus years, but in five now. I'm correct here. <laughs> <laughs> Always looking forward to connecting with like minded folks with interest in music, art, and movies. Please welcome Toastmaster Dinesh. Yes. Of the media. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the Day. As has already been said, you did a wonderful job for being the first time TMOD. Okay, so this is what it feels like to be the president. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just have one thing to say. You know, there was this meme going on, same, same, but different. <laughs> Something like that is happening. What is same? Now, same is my devotion to this club. Same is my relation with each one of you. But with the same, there is a difference. The difference is the responsibility that this position holds. I mean, I don't have to tell this, only Shailu knows how hard he persuaded me to take up this role. I was skeptical. This role was not alluring. I don't want to discourage anyone, but I just, I'm telling the truth. But then I thought to myself, you know, having this conflicting thoughts, I thought to myself, I know this club. I know each one of them in and out. So I know that if I stumble, which I definitely will, sorry, you might think of a leader who is not confident, but I know there are going to be mistakes ahead. I know that this team will stand for me as they have stood for me in my last term as the BPPR. So, this is just not for me. To all the XCOM members, there have been new XCOM members who are assuming role for the very first time. So great on that, but don't worry. If you have not already seen it, just take my guarantee that, the, that this XCOM is not just of 10 members. It's an XCOM of 29 members. We are all here to push each other. Now, the position that Trailblazer holds it just did not happen overnight. It happened with the tireless efforts of all the past XCOM uh, officers for the, uh, and especially the last term. It has been a memorable term and kudos to the past XCOM members. It was your hard work. It was your tireless efforts that took our club to this next level. We were the talk of the town in coronation and this is just what I'm saying, just because it's the club. This is the truth. But, but even though it was a memorable year, there were few areas where we could have improved up. And this term, it's my aim to work on those areas. As I've already told in my presidential pitch, the three prongs to my trident. So I just want to repeat them again. Do you remember what was the first one? Connect. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I won't take it as an offense. But anyway, the first one was equitable development. Now, as Shalu, our area director, has already said that we joined Toastmasters with an objective. It was not because 
our past we people uh, membership told that okay the fee would be reimbursed it was <laughs> it was not because somebody said that okay your promotion in your job is directly re related to the number of levels you complete it's not that whatever that reason could be it could be as you uh, as he already said it could be as simple as just to break the monotony of job it could it could be to better your public speaking it could be just to you know, tackle the stage fright, or it could be network. So I want each one of you to introspect a little bit at why you joined this club and let's walk towards it. I promise I will be there. The entire team would be there. Your mentors would be there to guide you through that. Let's forget about the awards. Let's focus on why you joined and let's walk towards it. Even if it's like 5% that you walk towards it, it's great. So, um, yeah, so if let's say you have joined this club for betterment of your public speaking, I'll urge you to complete more levels. Keep on trying. You keep on maintaining the consistency. If it is to tackle the stage fright, then you can start taking up roles, even the smaller ones, then you can climb up the ladder. If it's for networking, I would urge you to find some time in your weekends and start attending you know, area uh, events, district events, division, our division events, you can take it, uh, like we even take the testament of our AD, he has been a part and parcel of all of these events, and it is great for network. Let's just not network within the club, anyway, we're all part of Oracle, we all try, want to proceed, right? So, uh, let's do that. See? Okay. So, uh, the second prompt, that is, the education part of it. Now, in all these glitters, let's not forget, this is an educational club. And let's, in this term, let's uh, make it a point that we focus on our education. For example, I'll just say uh, one thing, and I'll try to make this quick. I know I have a habit of keep on talking. But uh, for me, when I start thinking about the levels, right, I, uh, I aim a level. It's not like I go into the site and see what the le level demands. It's rather I have a topic in my mind and I would somehow integrate that level into it. I See, there is nothing bad in it. Kudos to you to even have the courage to come here and speak. But these levels, you know, they have been curated in such a way that it would cater to the holistic development of an individual. So let's try to focus on that that whatever our project inside a level demands, let's put focus on that and try to, you know, uh, showcase that in our speech. And the third part, the third subsection in this education part is the evaluation. I want, like, you might agree with me, you might not agree with me, but this is my personal uh, experience. I feel like the evaluations are not taken care of that much. It's like one time I hear the evaluation, but am I failing to implement that in the next speech? So let's put that in focus because it's very, very important. Even if you are given five points of improvement, let's focus on one point. I'm pretty sure you will find one point where you also feel I lack in that area. If that is the case, let's work on that area. And the third prompt is the PR part, the publicity part. I don't want everyone to believe that the publicity, the onus of this publicity lies on the VPPR only. Yeah, they have to take the lead. But it's also in all of our hands. We can start small, just start talking about this club. You don't have to ask everybody to join the club or anything. Just start talking about this club to your friends, to your colleagues, who you feel like might benefit from this club. You can just say if they are shy to have an offline meeting, they can join online meeting. We are a hybrid meeting anyway. So, uh, before ending this long educational session, I'll just say that it has been told, like, the people have their own leadership styles. There are different leadership styles. That is also a project, by the way, in one of the pathways. So, uh, I have always been told a good leader is one who walks by logic, you know, all the time. He has to be logical all the time. There is no denying the fact that logic is required. But I always tell myself, be an emotional person. So I, in this term, would like to put emotions at the forefront than logic. Emotions of my emotions, our emotions, the entire club's emotions. 
with that thank you so much for electing me as the uh, president let's have a wonderful term ahead but before i close i think we have some token of appreciation for the uh, members who have taken up the excom role let me do I, I think it has not been done right let me do that i'll call upon the sergeant at arms first Please, 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 please. Thank you so much for taking up the role. Okay, then we have the secretary, Sayakash. Thank you so much. I think the treasurer is not there today, so let's welcome our BPPR. We also have associate BPPR as Toastmaster Abhinav. Then we'll go to the membership. Uh, Toastmaster Devi. Oh, yeah. good. Good fast for it. Toastmaster Devi. Thank you so much. Right. There are other things. Yeah. We'll exchange later. Yeah. You can have your own colors, although blacks are more ideal. Green, I think. Then we have the uh, associate VP membership as Toastmaster Krishna. <laughs> Thank you so much. Then we'll go to the education part, the VP education part, and let's welcome Toastmaster Krishna. Oh, Thank you so much. Uh, we have the associate VP education as Toastmaster Mamta. Then, uh, President. Yeah, yeah, President, I think. Don't worry, I have it for myself. We have a member who was part of our last XCOM, Toastmaster uh, Namrata Bhagat. And since I was the Wikipedia last term, which <laughs> oh, yeah. one? Which one? Whatever. Okay. So, as the VPPR, we, we can exchange, you can exchange later anyway, we have three left. So, as the VPPR, I can confirm she was of great help. Thank you so much. Okay, I think we have even missing members like Toastmaster Kaushal, Toastmaster Maria, Toastmaster Shrey. Don't worry, you'll have to come here. We can't dunzo you or anything like that. That depends on the treasurer anyway. So with that, I'd like to... TLI. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So the TLI dates have also come up. I think if you are in WhatsApp, you are active in WhatsApp, then you'll see uh, the TLI. I've already shared the info. So just pick up a date according to your convenience. But we have the TLI for uh, Division G on 28th uh, July. Cisco. That is at uh, Cisco. Uh, I think uh, we also have a voting, right? Yes. Ready? Yeah. So you guys can uh, scan the QR and vote for your favorite speaker who was good. Huh? I don't know. I know it's fine. I'll just take it. I have one update regarding next meeting. So we have identified the QR. Yeah. Uh, Toastmaster. And the remaining. Yeah, I'll and uh, ED visit uh, next week. <laughs> so it doesn't say anything. Ah. Next week, next week, a meeting uh, is crucial for women. Try everybody like, to bring my friends. There is something I'm giving some like a function. Can we keep them also? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, it will help her. Oh, so, everybody, you can. Cast your vote. I think you are managing the poll. Yes. 
general variable could be oh sorry so last minute it changed <laughs> assume it's me <laughs> general evaluator is those muscle have enough he forgot himself <laughs> awesome <laughs> We got 12 responses till now, 13 now. So, <laughs> that should be all, right? Yeah. I'll not. Yes. Okay, since <laughs> both speaker and evaluator overshot time, they are disqualified. I was too lenient last time, this time I'm happy. Well, I'm out of office group now. Best able to speaker goes to Toastmaster Teja. Oh! Best meeting role taker goes to Toastmaster Krishna. Best auxiliary role taker goes to Toastmaster Banali. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you <laughs> So, I think we have few announcements. The TLI one is done. And uh, next comes the, uh, the education one. Like uh, So, there is an announcement for the education part. We have already decided who our next TMOD would be. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Namrata, for taking that up. Thank you. But as part of this term, we are again bringing changes to uh, our education part. So what we have decided that we will have the entire six months of TMOD roles filled up. So I would request you guys to fill up the Excel sheet. You might have already seen the Excel sheet. You can just fill up till the entire term, till the end of the term. Any particular day that you feel like you want to be the TMOD for the meeting, you can do that. It's not mandatory. Like you first have to fill it up. Definitely you'll uh, then assume the role. If there is any chance that you might not be able to do it for some circumstance or whatever, then we can have a discussion who would be the backup Toastmasters or not. So just go through the uh, Excel sheet once, try to fill in your names. And as I said, it's not the responsibility of the evaluator or the mentor to push you. It has to be our own responsibility. Let's just take up the roles. Let's just, you know, climb up the stage uh, of the ladder. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for being so patient through all this. Uh, everything is done, I guess. We'll just... Feedback from people. Yeah, okay. My bad. I'm new, so <laughs> it will take some time. So we have this section of uh, guest feedback. I would like, I think we have two guests offline and one guest online. If you could just share your views, how this meeting was, you can uh, sit there itself. You don't have to come here. But how was the meeting? How do you feel? Uh, okay, I really liked it, especially the table talk. Uh, yeah, that, that... Excuse me, just one moment. Sorry. May I know your name also? Uh, Right. Yeah. Oh. So that uh, topic was very interesting. Ah. So yeah, that was fun, and everybody was very. Uh, I mean, like, it was very comfortable in yeah, really Thank you so much. I hope you keep joining us. Girish, Girish is our online audience. How did you feel, Girish? I think you already were a part in last meeting. Yes, it was a great session, and all the speakers topics and all was wonderful so uh it's a yeah it's all all together it's a very good session i learned a lot thank you so much Gary. we also sometimes join us offline too so sure yeah our uh, table topic winner, <laughs> winner teja how did you feel like yeah my name is teja uh 
it is nice like after a long time i i, I attended this meeting uh yeah like when general auditor said e tag i thought like something related to that like online meeting uh. <laughs> but like yeah previously i used to be tag role tag role yeah. but like e tag but like evaluator he has said it yeah, it is nice and also the innovative way of uh, using the uh, the table topic master last time i was here uh, mount also thought first master mount she yeah. has come up with different uh, way of uh, 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 introducing the table topics so it is nice looking forward to join Thank you so much. Come with me. Okay, I think then we are good to close the meeting. If I'm not wrong, this is 469th meeting. We are good to close. Let me just assemble. I think we have a lot of people today. It makes me so happy that, you know, on the installation, we have such a nice audience. Kaushal, you would be the photographer now.